Hi, I'm Nigel Farrar from Symer. I'm Vice President of Lithography Applications Development. This year is an important year for EUV and uh, one of the key things is to get the productivity up on these early generation EUV systems so that process development can really uh, get going. And, and a key part of that, of course, is, uh, is getting throughput up by providing the, the source power that the industry needs. And uh, Simon's going to announce some significant uh, milestones in, in high power systems this week. And I think the industry is here looking forward to hearing uh, some of those results. Simon has built uh, eight first generation EUV sources. We've delivered five of those to chipmaker customers over the last year. Uh, and uh, all of those sources are producing uh, wafers for process development. And we've made significant improvements in the availability of those sources um, through better reliability, better performance of the droplet generator in particular, and also the collector um, within those systems. So um, our, our talk is Thursday morning. Uh, we're going to announce, uh, we're going to show some results from those improvements to collector and droplet generator. Um, but in particular, we're going to show some exciting new results on increased power output that we've been de developing uh, in our factory in San Diego. Of course, there's a lot of talk about EUV lithography, but I, you know, I, I would say that you know, we're, not, uh, we're not giving up innovating in deep UV lithography. And we have a, a talk uh, tomorrow afternoon, Thursday afternoon, uh, on the latest advancements on our DPV uh, lithography light sources. So I would encourage people to come and uh, uh, check out the latest there as well. So in both DPV and EUV light sources, I think the key is to build on the learning uh, that's been developed by working with you know, the industry leaders. And having those sources out in the field of chip makers is what really accelerates the cycles of learning and allows us to uh, incrementally improve the design in the next generation systems. Um, and you know, that's also true in the DPV space where we're introducing uh, you know, higher power, process enhancements, um, productivity improvements, uh, and also um, you know, improvements to data handling and, uh, uh, and uh, you know, performance analysis of the systems. Well, I personally have been coming to you know, the, the advanced lithography for over 25 years, and uh, you know, it's, it's really the conference that that everyone in the, in the photolithography industry uh, comes to if they have to go to one each year. Uh, and a, a lot of people you know, choose this as the place to announce um, you know, the latest results. And, and you can be sure of the right audience here, all the key people from the top companies come here. The EUV, of course, is, is on a lot of people's mind. They're, they're looking forward to the latest results there, and they, you know, I don't think we'll disappoint them uh, you know, with tomorrow's uh, results that, that, that we announced from SIMA. Uh, I think there's also a lot of interest in this directed self-assembly approach. Um, and that, that seems to be making a lot of good progress. So I, I heard a lot of people mention that. I, I think Moore's Law has got a, you know, a long future ahead of it. We, we had some good keynote talks in the optical lithography session yesterday from both the memory and logic side of the business um, that showed scaling you know, well into the next decade. Uh, and below 10 nanometers. So I think we have a we have a, we have some time ahead of us.